to my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to show you the map which is Hamburg Hafen City and so the map uh, it, I just discovered that it was released some weeks ago and um, it comes with two bosses well they are technically the same but different so it comes with the Volvo, it's not branded as Volvo, as you can see. It comes with the Volvo 7900, or 7900, or 7900, however you want to call it. And it comes with the hybrid version of the 7900, and both in rigid, rigid bus, uh, also known as the 7900H and the articulated bus, articulated hybrid bus which is known as the 7900AH uh, in the game it's 7900LH but um, it's, it's in real life AH in uh, A stands for articulated because it's not German in German it will be G um, so, uh, so I put on an Instagram poll Sorry, um, put on an Instagram poll to see which bus I should drive, and this bus got more votes, so I'm going to drive this one. Um, the chassis is, I think, B5LH. Yeah, I think so. So the bits are jammed to the left, so you can have an extra door on the right. Yep, um, so let me start this. So basically, that's the button you start, and uh, uh, well, this is a hybrid electric bus. It runs on the Volvo something engine. Now that's the start-stop technology, and uh, in so that engine is Volvo something gearbox is uh, an I shift Volvo I shift 12-speed automated, and um, the electric motor is a. A Volvo I Sam, I Sam, electric motor. Um, of course, it's got regen. And by the way, this bus in this game you cannot charge the battery. The battery gets its electricity from regen or the diesel engine. So uh, because the battery has got enough electricity, the engine stopped now. But um, don't need to worry about that. Didn't drive. Um, close the doors. It's quite silent. It's not that noisy to drive this bus. Well, uh, I did. I did, I also tried the articulated version. Well, that one is less noisy because the engine is like a mile away from you. So, uh, let me talk a bit about this map. Um, this map is uh, not Volvo. Not Volvo. <laughs> um, this map is a uh, 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 Hamburg Hafen City. I think Hafen City stands for Harbour City. I mean, it translates to Harbour City. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, um, it's in Hamburg. Um, So basically, the map comes with four routes. Um, the 109, 688, well, those two are also in the old Hamburg map. And of course, it's also laggy like the old ones. Um, am I going straight? So basically, um, uh, apart from those two, there's also one, 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 which is the one I'm driving around. Oh, look at the cyclists. I'm glad that they're actually more this cyclists in this game, in this map, because they, that makes it feel more realistic. I hope they can do that uh, for the London map. Um, 
so basically, uh, and also, uh, there's one more route that's Route 6, I think. But I'm glad that they actually modded some hybrid bus because that feels more realistic. Because the Hamburg, in Hamburg, the Route 109 is some innovation line. <laughs> I know, um, innovation line, so they only use buses that run on renewable en energy, which is not diesel bus. Which are not diesel buses. Um, so I'm driving on route 101 that goes to ATH. So basically, um, uh, ATH is the code for the terminus. I guess every terminus in Hamburg has a code. Um, ATH is Bahnhof Al uh, Al. I don't know. Well, that that is you can also drive uh, route six eight eight from there. I have to say that this powertrain stuff is modded quite well, except that you can't top up your battery. Hello. You can't plug in. Hello, please stop lagging. Oh, by the way, it's quite laggy, this lady. Oh, and by the way, I... Uh, because I saw that there's Route 109, I tried that route on... Uh, on the Bendy bus. Um... I went from the U Bahnhof to Hauptbahnhof. Uh, what's the U Bahnhof? That U A L. That's okay. U A L. There. That's the code. And um, I went from there via Rathausmarkt to. That is a real problem, and uh, also uh, on 109, when I when I was close to Rathaus Markt and uh, and Hauptbahnhof, um, it was quite laggy. It it I mean low frame rate, and um, the uh, the bus actually bounced up and down. And I also found that the views... Was I supposed to pass that? I'm sure, whatever. And also the views, as the preset views on both 7900 are a bit different. Hello, can you stop lagging, please? So basically, I, I'm actually quite excited to drive this bus. Okay. Um, not because I like this bus. Um, of course, I don't really like this bus because it's hybrid and it's Polish. No offense. Um, uh, and I mean, I would like serious hybrid more, but it's not a bad thing to drive. I, I mean, it's. Also fun to drive a parallel hybrid just to get the experience, but I don't like hybrids in general. Like, um, but well, even though I don't like hybrid buses, I like to drive them sometimes um, because, after all, it's good to be bad. Um, well, uh, as always, the game is... The game is buggy, and uh, I have actually discovered a bug, which I'm going to show you later. Um, of course you can't top up your battery, that's a big problem, and when you stop at... Um, the 
place, you know, in Hamburg, they have some bus stations where you can stop there and charge your bus via pantograph. I think that also got introduced to the UK, but... Meh! And the emergency service vehicles are annoying because I, I was I was actually so like in this situation they were just they work as conventional traffic. Like they won't get go around you and part they won't go around and pass you and you hear that sound following you which is quite annoying. And also I put on the poll on Instagram. That's a funny way to ride bikes. So I put on a poll on Instagram on my bus account and um, I almost pressed the wrong button and um, to, I asked whether I should use the handbrake or stop brake or stop braking, that's what stop brake in German uh, Heute stellen Bremse Sorry, sorry car uh, Heute stellen Bremse Yeah, that's stop brake um, uh, of course I want to be a proper June bus driver in this, so I'm not going to use the handbrake, even though more people voted for that. Just slightly more, to be honest. I'm early now. No, come on, please be late. I mean, because that bug... Oh, did I hit that post? That bug is useful when you're late. Well, should I? Should I just make myself late deliberately here? Um, yeah, I think maybe. Let me fast forward by one minute, so I'm about one minute late. Okay. And also, I discovered that this bus is quite funny. When you run in electric only mode, you can't reverse. <laughs> you have to reverse in... you. I, I have no idea why that is the case, because... Because of, apparently you can make an electric motor go both ways. But I don't know why... I'm not quite sure if... Okay. Oh, that's a Fiat 500, I guess. Yeah, it should be. So I don't know why on this bus, I'm not quite sure if it's that in real life or just in the game. But on this bus, if you put it in electric mode, it won't reverse. That's a good design, to be honest. No, it's not. I was kidding. Um, so. Am I catching up my delay? Hopefully not, because I want to show you the bug. I'm trying to make myself late. So you can you can put the bus in electric only mode. There's a button that does it. And um, if you put it in electric only mode or electric mode, why am I catching up delay so easily? If you put it in electric mode, um, it it only goes up to. It only goes up to 30 kilometers an hour, and I have no idea why that's the case. So, uh, uh, oh, on the bendy bus, the front it shows here. I don't know why it's the other way on this. Is it because this was designed for British market? I mean, UK market. I don't, and I don't know why you color the windscreen. Well, maybe give you a sense of which is the front. That's something idiotic, to be honest. What's HYB? Does it stand for hybrid? And you show D here, that's a bit nonsense. Because I can see that from here. Unless, I mean, you show which gear is being used by the gearbox. And also, that bar shows my battery level. Also, I'm back to that much delay now. So basically that bar 
shows that bar shows the battery level, which I can't really open the doors because so I want to show you. Okay, that shows the battery level. Um, I'm not good at driving that German bus. That mirror. I mean, that's what German people like to do. That mirror is quite bulky. That. I should have made myself more late there, so I can show you some handy bug buggy feature. Hang on, buggy means something completely different. Can you please stop lagging, you stupid game? They've got quite some Fiat 500 in this game. Uh, uh, Okay, so um, I quite like the AIs in this map. They have the the new Vauxhall Vivara, sorry, uh, Opel, Opel Vivara, not Vauxhall, but the equivalent here for continental Europe. That's a Mercedes Benz, branded that also a Mercedes Benz, but that's new. Uh, that's a Mercedes Benz. That's a Mercedes Benz. Um, You've seen that I am a white van man. I actually don't like tailgating, but um, I can do that in a race a bit. Not good. At, not very good at it. <laughs> oh, by the way, I I got uh, Forza Motorsport Seven demo, not the not demo one, to demo. Um, so basically, um, I quite I quite like that game, but I have got no money to buy a standard one. I will get it probably, but I may do also do a let's play video on the demo. Um, I actually wanted to do that before, but I discovered that this map is released. Um, of course, I'm a bus enthusiast, I'm not a race enthusiast. Oh, I'm a bit enthusiastic in race, but. Just to release some stress. Moin, moin, moin. Okay, Hello. I'm being more late now, or later, whatever you like to call it. So it's a great opportunity for me to show you this spot. So let me press M. You'll find that when you press M, it stops the ignition. But I didn't change gear, didn't do anything else. Watch this. Hang on. No, it was a bug before. Okay. What if I press it? You see this bug? The electric motor keeps working when I stop the electricity. But if I turn it on, it will work so I can see my speedometer and everything else works. Okay, that's a bit dangerous because the acceleration is normal when you're under 30 kilometers. And if you go above that, I'll show you later. It is going to be crazy. And that's what's good for catching up delay. So now I have my engine off, like that bit. You need to, so that's engine off but ignition on. You need to put it there, there that starts the, uh, the engine, and then it bounces back there. So that basically means the engine won't turn on at all. But I'm not sure if that means the electric motor will turn on in real life because it's, I'm, I'm actually using the bug here. It's, it's a bug. So basically, I can tell you what's going to happen next. So if you go above 30, the, acceler the acceleration suddenly goes huge. It's like... Mm, something like that. Um, well, of course, you need to mind your speed because you may not brake. You, you may need to brake before it goes too fast. 
at what's that? Ten years. Don't know about ten years. I mean a hundred. What the bloody hell is wrong with me? I might need to drink some tea. Okay. You see, it. I don't think it's supposed to be running. This mode, but it's it's just a bug. Hello. Those people aren't pedestrians. There, they're just steady. Okay, you see, that's a bug. That's a bug. That's a bug. Like, think of like a rocket or an aeroplane. Like, just it just suddenly goes up like a huge amount of acceleration. Mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just your ticket. And that's just your change. Bitte. Okay, watch this. Hello? Schneller, Schneller. That's the Vivaro. Uh, Vivaro. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not a fan. Watch this. See that? I'll have to break here. It's going too fast. That's the bug. I don't think I. What's more buggy is that. Well, apparently, if you look at my badge. If it wasn't that laggy, that wouldn't happen. Wouldn't happen. So basically. It goes crazy because of bug from above 30, but the you are joking. But when it when it does that much acceleration, it it actually stop lagging. You stupid guy. It goes to, so that bit, that crazy acceleration consumes the same amount of electricity. But when you brake, because it's got regen, it actually tops up your battery. <laughs> so that means when you when you when you run on this spot, your battery goes up, not down. Well, it, of course it will go down if you keep if you keep yourself under thirty. Because there's no bug under 30 kilometers an hour. Hello. Moin, moin. Moin. Good morning. Okay, can you close? Okay. Let's see. Of course, oh, well, my battery went down a bit because it was. Crazy. Okay, 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 okay. That is no good. Are they coming? Come to me or I'll reverse. So let me show you the reverse. So you see, it won't reverse. I have to use diesel energy. Uh, hello, excuse me. I think I need to apply that break. Is the box still there? Should I go forward a bit and then backwards? Uh, hello, why won't it reverse? Sorry. Anyway, I'm not caring about this. If you don't want to get on, don't get on. I think I may need to do the bunk again because 
it's quite far. It's not far, I just want to catch up my delay. Okay, which way do I go? To uh, which way? Fish out see on Charlotte. Yes, so it's left. Actually, I want to see if it reverses now. You see that as, as soon as I pressed reverse, the diesel engine started because the electric motor won't reverse. drink some tea I'm actually going to use that bug I don't think it's working That bug actually was more buggy when I used it, when I tried it first and I discovered it first. That's the wrong one. Okay. So uh, I, I was actually thinking about driving the bendy bus, but I think uh, it's better to drive the rigid bus because I want to show you the sound. And, um, and on that note, I am probably going to do another Hamburg map driving the bendy bus. Uh, I, I actually want, want to show you the... the excuse me? The... I'm going to use kick down here for actually. So as if you press down the accelerator at start, it automatically starts the engine. But if you don't, you just do a bit accelerator or not that much. It it, it only starts the engine from when it picks up speed. So basically, um, I want to drive the show you the van. AGG 300, that's a double articulated bus. So it's got three articulated sections. So that's bendy, bendy bus. Because it's got two bendies. Bendances. Two bends, whatever you want to call Hello. it. Hello, moi. Good morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the wrong one. That's one and a half, two, three, five. I'm going to go shut up for God's sake. See, as soon as I apply full throttle, activate trigger full throttle, the engine starts. But uh, the star, star stop technology can be a bit annoying because because when you stop lagging, because when you start or stop an engine, it goes through like the rev goes very low in uh, for a short time, and that bit that triggers like the whole the entire vehicle like just vibrates. That can be quite annoying. So uh, basically, Nothing. Volvo. And by the way, I last time I mentioned that they they got a uh, uh, seventeen nine hundred electric version. That one was introduced to the UK market. Um, I think in Liverpool. Nottingham, I think Nottingham, I'm not sure. That one has got uh, opportunity charging, which is just better off. Yes, you, you, you're right, I said opportunity charging. 
that's something they learned from ADL, I think, because ADL invented that, I'm not sure, I think. Virtual electric bus by ADL, they use opportunity charging. And virtual electric is just a fancy name for a hybrid bus that automatically runs into uh, electric mode. Shut up now. You see? You've got space to go here. Boy. Not blocking you. I find it quite painful to use kick down on this. But to be honest, I quite like Hamburg, the view, and of course the mods are good, except the dancing part near Radhaus mod. And between Radhaus, no, Ra be the dancing part, is uh, except the dancing part between Radhaus mod and uh, Hauptbahnhof. I think the Hamburg Hauptbahnhof is, is next to the ZOB. Which stands for Centala Omnibus Bahnhof, Central Bus Station. Wait, was it going to close and then I pressed it open? Hello. Stupid bus. I don't think this bus has a torque converter. I don't think so. What is wrong? Did I make the wrong turn? Yes, I did. Sorry. Sorry, Stu. Okay, I don't know. Let me try that back again. Okay, that's a bendy version. No, 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 no. I was supposed to stop there or whatever. Is it? You can't, you can't control the acceleration. It just goes crazy. It's normal at like under thirty. I caught up quite a bit delay thanks to the bug. Oh I oh I remember this place. Maybe I'm wrong. Never mind I don't. It just looks like the place I remembered from the previous map. Okay, why are you stopping there? You're booking me, please go away. 
Um, by the way, let me talk about my uh, Let's Play series. So I rebranded my Let's Play. It wasn't actually branded, but I. So I made a new logo, and by new I mean slightly revised. <laughs> I learned that from Chuck manufacturers. When they say new, they actually, uh, they may actually not be new. Um, so um, it's black background and red patterns. It feels more gamey. And um, can I go now? Traffic light. And um, I also made a new music. It's organ plus vocal. If you wonder. Um, it makes because I I think like um, um, game is like a race for some reasons and it should be treated with respect. But the other one was uh, the other one like my main f music is a symphony and that one is actually quite full. Like it's some big machine operation. Even though I uh, I I did both on flats.io. Because I can't make, I'm rubbish at making music. And um, basically, um, so basically. Uh, because I think I, I, I should use more than one instrument, more than one instrument, like make it more like symphony like. Well, that I, uh, I made my, I used some symphony instruments in my, uh, in my surprise, not for Let's Play, for other things. And I made for Let's Play an organ and vocal. Well, you get what I mean, like um, a ceremony. Whatever. Um, anyway, um, so I did it because I feel like it, and um, um, so I also created a new Instagram account. For Let's Play, I haven't posted anything yet. I'm going to post some a bit things. It goes instantly up to 50 kilometers an hour. Oh, so my trip ends here and go back to normal mode because I didn't want I didn't want to end this in a strange thing. I did not realize I'm okay. Okay, I'm experiencing a bit bug. Basically, um, I did it. Yeah, I made a let's play. Like I'm officially making it something new, and this is my first let's play branded video. <laughs> um, I think I should make a bit more let's play. Is that do I stop here? I think so. And I wait there. I mean, here <laughs> you can't see me pointing. Okay, pop up, pop up, pop up. Nothing pops up. Is it my last? Oh. Oh, so I drop passengers off here and I stop there. Um. Um. Yeah, because I I feel like let's play is a bit different because in, in my other videos, if I put in a starting, that means that video has been edited. If I don't, that means it's a raw video. Um, I also, I, I actually don't edit Let's Play videos that much, and but I still put the um, starting and ending animation there, because I like to. I think I should run on electric mode and try that. So it won't 
because I don't feel like starting the diesel engine just for it won't it won't be that buggy because it's limited to 30 kilometers if I have the that thing on. So I don't feel like making people think my let's play videos are that edited, they aren't. But I still want to brand them. Okay. Uh, that was a uh, fun drive, so if I, yep, it will go, and start that one, and, um, so thank you very much for watching, and, did I apply handbrake? Yep, yep, and, Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Good night.